What up guys, Disney Chubs back at it again, and today we're reviewing my Mandalorian helmet. Finally. But before we continue with the video guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And at the end of the video, smash that like. It tells us that you care. Alright guys, so here we got it. We finally got it. I mean, I've had it for a long time actually. And I have my co-host, uh, Gogru. And of course, you know, um, I didn't turn him on. But, he's there. I have Gogru, he's gonna be chilling with me and we're gonna be reviewing together the Mandalorian helmet. Uh, let's get to it, okay? So here's the packaging. It's a little beat up because it's been sitting in, in, in my living room just like, sitting there you know and sorry if I'm a little sniffly but um, I'm in my studio like I told you guys in the last episode I'm filming these back to back but you guys know this um, so and uh, it's still a little dusty in here and it's still not finished but I needed a place to film so you know we're here all right so here you go this is the box it's of course in uh, black series style they have a beautiful, beautiful box. Very, very nice. Very, very beautiful. And uh, so let's open this up. Okay, so it opens up from here. And basically, if you guys, I'll show you guys the top view. It um, comes, it comes like this with the. Uh, I think it was on, on a bag. I, I took it out and everything. It also has one of these guys. So let's take this out. I'll explain what that is. And it opens up. Like that. Take this big guy out. And it also comes with the strap to adjust to your head. So, okay. Here's what comes in the box. The strap. The helmet, of course. And the adapter. This is the flashlight that goes on the right. And it goes right here. Okay, I'll show you how to take it off and on. All right. So what do you think, Goku? It's pretty nice, huh? Yeah, I think so too. Um, it's very, very beautiful. When I first took it out, and uh, um, yeah. When I first took it out, and I tried to put it on my head, I was very disappointed. Uh, because it is a very tight fit. I'll show you how I started to put it on. So I put it like like this, and it stopped right there. You see that? It stopped right there. I was so upset. I told told Reese. I told Little Chubs. I was like, "Bam! I don't think it's gonna fit." I was so disappointed. I was like, uh -huh. "All right," but I was like, "You know what? There's gotta be a way that I have to put it. Like, they, 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 it has to be." Okay, so. I figured it out. So you have to put it at an angle, okay? Put this on at an angle like this, okay? And then you push back against the foam parts, and now you're in. Now, I can wear it. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I can wear it, you know? Uh, I took, I didn't use this because it basically didn't fit with this on. So that's going away, uh, but yeah. It's got a little bit of wiggle. I I might have to I might have to use this, but for now, 
I can see pretty clearly. I'm fogging up like crazy, so I don't, I can't see the camera that well. But uh, it is a tight fit. You know, I have lost a little bit of weight, so it does fit a little better. You know, which is nice. No more chubbier cheeks. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. I I like it. I mean, it's a lot more visible than the than the stormtrooper helmet. Uh, the original stormtrooper helmet. Uh, the Boba Fett one is a lot more comfortable. Let me take this off. Uh, it's a pain in the butt to take off. It hurts. Um, it's a very tight fit, like I said. If you have a big head like me, good luck. If you don't, congratulations. But your brain is smaller. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I kid, I kid. So, uh, yeah. So let's go over pretty much the, the construction. It's it's a very beautiful helmet. Like it, I I can't I can't like I, as soon as I saw it and I, I was like, oh my god, this thing is so beautiful. Now don't get me wrong, I do love my Boba Fett helmet, but this is a like it's structurally different. Boba Fett's helmet is like less uh, sunken in, and um, it's a, it feels like it's a little smaller. So this is this is very nice. You know, it's very nice. Uh, it's, of course, very high quality. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but in here there are. I show you. I show you guys some zoomed in versions, uh, zoom, zoomed in shots. But there's when it's off or on the it's on its side. Um, these lights turn on red, which is pretty freaking cool. When they're when the when the helmet goes is vertical, they turn off. So it's got a little like uh, gyro or something that hits the switch when you need to see. Okay, okay. So I don't know if we can even do this. So it's vertical right now and it's lights on. Vertical, lights on. So I don't know. You can't even see the lights on the inside, but but they're they're on. And I'll show you guys the zoomed in version. Um, but very nice, very solid, very solid. Like. He's extremely solid. Um, I like it. It's it's got a beautiful amount of detail on the inside, just like the Boba Fett helmet. The Boba Fett helmet has like I really like these Mandalorian helmets, like Boba Fett's and um, this one, um, the Mandos, and the new Stormtrooper helmets. The new ones, those things have a lot of detail in them compared to the OG helmets. The OG helmets. Very simple, no really, no no details at all. Um, it's just a, a helmet that you put on. Um, but these, they have like these cool details on it. I'll show you guys a close up, like I said. And it's just, it's, it's just like the Boba Fett helmet. It even has these little cushions at the top and cushions on the back that you have to push against so that you can put it on. But overall, like, it's a beautiful helmet. Like, I really, really, really love having this helmet. Um, so on the side here, on this side right here, this piece right here, uh, I'll show you guys a, a zoomed in version of that. This piece right here actually clips on here. But what you have to do is, let me see if I can do this. In, yeah, I can do that. Okay, so you you pull you pull this you pull this straight out. I'll see if I can show you guys a, a zoomed in version of that. But you pull this. You have to squeeze at the sides and pull straight out. Okay, and then. You replace this right here. It's, there's little contacts at the bottom of this, uh, right at, at this part right here, that need to go in there. So you need to put this on like this. It, it guides you. And then, like I said, I'll show you guys a zoomed in version. And then you you basically snap it on. Okay? So now you have the, the light version, okay? And so how this turns on, I can't remember. Does it turn on from the inside? Oh yeah, there, wait, 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 there's a switch here. Yeah, okay. So you put this on, okay, and then you hit the switch. So you hit the switch, I believe, yeah. So you hit this little switch, it's a little light. See that? Just a little light, I'm sure like 
without all these blaring lights that I have in here, you'll be able to see it better. But that's how you install it, okay? And and there's a little switch right here. A little bu a button, it's not a switch, it's a button. You just hit the button. Sorry, you just hit the button and that's how it turns off and on. And that's how you install that. So you basically just squeeze at the sides and pull straight out, okay? And this one is a lot easier to put on because there's no connector. So like I said, and this here, basically you adjust for your head size. These go on the sides like this, right? And you adjust this part, this is the back. So you adjust this part here to fit around your head. So you put it on your head first, okay? Make sure it's nice and snug and it goes all the way down, okay? And then once you do that and it's your size, then you snap it on the top right here. So there's little two holes on the side, one and two. Uh, if you can see them, I'll show you a zoomed in version. There's two holes on the side here and right there, okay? So you basically, I'll, sh I'll show you guys a, a version of this too. Uh, you, you snap it on. There's like little guides, so you gotta turn it and then snap, okay? And then same thing on the other side, you turn it and then you snap it. And then it's supposed to fit nice and snug. And let me see. Yeah, whoa, it's very snug. So no more wiggle. So I can basically jog with it. You know, I can do Pilates with it, you know? <laughs> I can do a little deadlifting, yeah, yeah. You know, but there's no wiggle, which is nice. Uh, and it doesn't fall all the way down. It sits nice and snug and I can see clearly outside of the helmet, but it's very snug. And if I were to take this off, it's probably gonna hurt like crazy because it's gonna rub against my cheeks, but let's try it out. Uh, 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 okay, there you have it. I wish the helmet was a little, uh, just a little bit bigger, guys. Just a little bit bigger. Um, it, it could, it could, it could stand to be just a little bit, a little bit bigger. I swear to God, <laughs> you know, I can't say it enough. But um, all the details you saw in the video, guys, the clip that I did. You know, I'm always gonna do a, a nice, cool clip for you guys. Um, but as you see, it's got, it's, it's, it's basically one-to-one -one scale. I think, um, it's scanned, they scanned the model, the Ma they had the Mandalorian helmet model and they made it off of that. And it's, it's beautiful. You know, it, it, it's, it really stands out. Like it almost, you know what it reminds me of, uh, remember back in the day, not the new Battlestar Galactica, but the old Battlestar Galactica with the Cylons, those robotic Cylons. That's what it, like, it needs like a little laser going, bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> you know, what do you think? Little lasers. And so, you know, I, overall, I think it's a beautiful helmet. It was, um, I think I got it. Where did I get it from? I got it from Hasbro Pulse. Um... Yeah, I got it from HasbroPulse.com. It was a hundred dollars. Is it worth it? For me, it is. I love it. I love all my helmets, and um, I still. My father-in-law got the Darth Vader helmet, and I'm. Um, I got. I'm telling you, I have extreme envy right now because it's really cool, and I kind of want it. So I don't know. I might be in the market for buying me my Delph, my Darth Vader helmet. At, the, at one point, I, I was like, yeah, it doesn't really, like, I love the Stormtrooper helmets because the aesthetics, the design of those helmets are amazing. And the First Order helmets, beautiful too. These Mando helmets are amazing too. They're, they're just like beautifully designed. You know, the aesthetics, the, the, the quality, the look of it is beautiful. Darth Vader helmet really didn't really attract me as much, but now that I've seen it in person, I think I really want it. Um, I'll post a picture of his, of his, we did a whole Star Wars theme this year and it was amazing. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the one big papa or um, I'll probably post some on Disney Chubs, we'll see, uh, from the Halloween um, 
like party that we had and it wasn't really a party it was just a halloween themed get together you know but because we usually like to pass out candies for the kids in the neighborhood and pass out pencils and stuff like that and you know this time we're like you know what we're gonna do star wars this year i was like yeah so i had a i had my whole sith lord get up um and i i, I dressed up as a sith lord uh and no one in particular because i like to be my own sith lord uh, my own character of course you know i'm my own character you know you know what i mean right anyways <laughs> but i'll post some i'll put some pictures at the end of this video so if you guys want to watch them stay tuned uh, but yeah overall this is a beautiful helmet and i can't wait to do some videos with it i might even do some tiktoks uh if you don't follow me on tiktok follow me at the one big papa on tiktok as well and so uh yeah guys if you're into helmets this is definitely uh, uh one to get and if you have a big head good luck putting it on and taking it off because it's painful but overall guys uh thank you for watching the video um let me know if you like this kind of videos uh i also have a couple other things that i want to do like i have the go -Gru. um i have a couple go grooves that I, I can uh show you guys i have both the the touchy one the one that you touch his head and he talks and stuff and does the little thing and i have this one which is the one that comes with the remote this is the remote control go group um i also have a bunch of like i have a couple legos sets that i want to do uh time lapses on so i've been um and they're all they're helmets basically there's a pilot star wars pilot there's also the stormtrooper and there's a uh, boba fett and I, I have the pilot, I have Boba Fett, and I have Darth Vader. And I still need that Stormtrooper. I've been looking for that Stormtrooper. But, um, yeah. And I got a couple things for my birthday. So, I can always go over some of that stuff uh, with you guys. It was, it was it's super, you know. I love sharing this stuff with you guys because I love this stuff. And I'm sure you guys like this stuff. So, but yeah, let me know. I'm, I'm ranting. I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. Anyways. Guys, let me know if you liked this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, smash that like, and turn on those notifications. And, oh yeah, she's not here. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, Big Chubs, out.